Say hello to my real voice in this brand new microphone. The days of the British text-to-speech guy are now over. Anyways, today I'm flashing my, my iPod, so I'll be back after finding everything. First, we will need the iPod we will be flash modding. This is the iPod Classic 4th generation that I've done a couple videos on. You may be wondering how I got to the main menu if the drive is dead. And that's because this drive is very picky when it works. Here's some foam for the iPod flash adapter. And of course we need an SD card. I'll use this normal SD card because I don't use the full size ones that often. It's 32 gigs because I don't want storage too far from the original. We also need the iFlash ATA1 adapter. I heard that these work best in 4th generations. Make way for the other stuff. We also need the trusty toolkit to get into this boy. I'll be back after setting everything up. First, we should probably start out with opening this boy. This boy is definitely going to make the iPod lighter. We should set up the iFlash so I can just put it straight into the iPod. We'll put a couple of these on there so it doesn't move around. Let's throw these things away. And put this foam boy on the back. I'd say that looks pretty good. Now we have to open the iPod. I've done this a couple times and now it's pretty easy. And there we go, we're already in. Now let's disconnect this ribbon cable before we break it. Using fingers would probably be easier. Put that off to the side. Now we need to disconnect the drive. This boy came off pretty easily. It still sort of works, so I'm not going to necessarily throw it away. Now we need to connect the iFlash adapter. And there we go, now the iFlash is connected. It looks pretty nice. Now to put it all back together. Okay, why did you turn on? This thing is supposed to be locked. Why is it still showing me the main menu? Okay, this thing still thinks it has a drive in it. 
I have to reset it. Come on, reset. This boy just doesn't want to reset. Well, glad to know I didn't break the hold switch. I'll be back after hooking this boy up to the computer. This boy seems to recognize the computer. Let's see what the computer thinks of it. iTunes seems to recognize it fine. Welcome to your new iPod. Of course sync with iTunes. I like how it even says 32 gigs in iTunes. That's kind of cool. We should probably rename this boy again. Now, let's sync all the music. Let's see if all the music got on this boy. Let's unlock it first. Of course we need to test the iPod with the well-known Apple EarPods. Let's plug them into the fourth generation. I'll be back after a quick listen. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Remember that hard drives are very heavy. And if you want to see more iPod videos, leave a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.